everybody and welcome to Arson Girl Gaming on Twitch. I'm so glad to see you guys are all out today. Whacking Jada. Kaden, hello everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I am so happy you are here. So happy. You guys have got to let me know if anything's delayed today because I feel like I'm having technical difficulties. Par for the course. But I want to start the stream by saying thank you to EA and the Game Changers program for providing me early access to the Tiny Living Stuff Pack so that I could share it with you guys. I'm very excited. I posted a video on YouTube this morning of a speed build that I did a few days ago and built my first micro house, which was 32 by 32, or yeah, 32 by 32, um squares and it was a challenge let me tell you but it came out really really cute Kaden uh I saw a little bit of FJ stream yesterday yes I did I did all right you guys let's jump in and take a look at this so first of all this is a starter home that came with the pack and I thought we could just kind of check it out I haven't looked at it yet whoops this is the one I want to do yet but I placed it and I just wanted to check it out and see what, uh, here, let's do this. My sim self can be in two places at one time. I just wanted to see what the, what the, hi, Blue, welcome. Um, I want to see what the builders did or, or the, the developer builders did for their tiny house. So we're going to do that first. And Joaquin says, I haven't watched it yet, but I saw the thumbnail. The micro house build looks adorable. Thank you. Thank you. I will show you that as well. Blue, thank you so much for the second month subscription. I am thrilled that you have decided to stick around with me. You make my heart feel big. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Yay for two months. Here's to many more months. Here's to many more uh, I'm so excited about this pack, you guys, and then I, I spent some time in the pack, uh, and I, I shared my true thoughts on the video that I posted today. I'll be sharing my true thoughts here on stream as well, <laughs> so get ready. Um, you know, if you've ever followed me on YouTube, you know that I build tiny houses. I love tiny houses. I love tiny houses in real life. I love tiny houses in The Sims and tiny houses are just kind of a thing. I watch tiny house TV, I go to tiny house shows. I just love tiny houses. So I was super duper excited um, when I knew that this pack was coming and then I got my hands on the pack. Let me tell you this, the pack itself, I'm just gonna start off straight off the bat. The pack itself is worth the $10. Just going to say it. Good morning, Ben. Oh, I'm so glad you decided to stay up and join us. I'm so glad. Okay. I know, Ben. The embargo was at a very weird, weird time. But at least it was normally a normal time of the day for most of the world, but very uncomfortable for other parts. Um, Wacken says, I like the pack, but it seems more like cozy living than tiny living. There's a lot of weird things missing for tiny houses right so the pack is worth 10 bucks totally just gonna say it it's worth the 10 bucks just for the murphy bed alone um but it is not a tiny living pack like the murphy bed is pretty much the only thing for the tiny living um i like all the rest of this stuff so i'm really glad about it but um yeah it was disappointing in that sense. There was a lot of stuff missing that could have been added, a lot of stuff that's in it that we already kind of have. And uh, I do love the furniture we got, so don't get me wrong, I haven't looked at Creative Sim yet. We're gonna do that together. Uh, but yeah, it was not, I don't know, I, other than the gameplay and the lot sizes, I'm not sure really what makes it Tiny Living. So, hi, Vigilant. How are you? Hi, Simpin. How are you? You're going to steal my food again. Okay. Well, you can't do it in The Sims, thankfully. Uh, but, yeah, the concert was great, Vigilant. Um, I stayed up way too late last night, though, so I, I'm extremely tired today because I am definitely an early-to-bed kind of girl. 
But um, let's go in and let's just take a look at this house that the Sims team gave us as a micro build in this pack. Because I'm just dying to see it, truthfully. Actually, let's go into build mode and do this. So this one is a tiny home starter. And it is on a 30 by 20. And it is 30 by 32, so it fits in the micro home. It is very Ikea-like, right? Um, ben says, very interested for the pack. And Wacking says, the guru said in some interview they were inspired by Danish design and Japanese one-mile club fashion, which it really is. So I call it a cozy Euro hipster pack and not so much tiny houses. Yeah, I think that would probably be a good, good way to put that. Oh my gosh, Simpin, I know. I wish we had a multiplayer version of The Sims. That is at the top of my wish list. I mean, we do have Free SO, which is a throwback to the old Sims Online, uh, which was based on The Sims 1, which we could check out sometime. It's free. Uh, it's a little complicated to set up, but it's an interesting thing. So maybe we'll we'll check that out one day, too. Um <clears throat> Let's go ahead and pull down the roof on this sucker and see what they did. All right, so they managed to make it a three room. Gave a little micro kitchen eating area. A little tiny bathroom. I like the big window in the bathroom though. So, I mean, yeah, it's a tiny house. I mean, I've seen better, <laughs> but then, you know, what, what do we expect from the development team? I know that they probably played around with a lot of tiny houses. Not sure why they included this one particularly, um, but it is micro. You can see my micro house is here in the background. So why don't we go and check that one out? And then we'll start looking at some of the stuff that's in the pack. More food stealing. I should hide my food. Oh, I learned that. I can hide all my food. Ninja made it. <laughs> ben says ninja made it. It's nice, but I have hate. Many hate for the house. All right. Well, let me show you what my micro house looks like. And spoiler alert, you can see me build it in my video that I post on YouTube. But um, let's move me in. And then you guys can let me know what you think of my micro house. Olivia, thank you so much for the follow. You're the first one to follow today. And that means you are the first new flamingo in the Flamingo Lagoon. And I am thrilled that you have decided to join us. Thank you. Wacking says, when I build the real tiny houses, I always go for open plan kitchen living spaces to make it feel better. I typically do too. <laughs> Wacking's hiding his food. Okay, so this, I hate the lighting on this lot, and I apologize, but this was one of the, the few that uh, was small enough. But this is my micro house that I built. And um, let's go into build mode so we can change the lighting from night so you guys can see it a little bit better. Uh, this is what I did. I wanted to turn this in originally to an outdoor area, but ended up making it like a carport. Thank you, Simpim. Uh, and I, wait, it's missing. What? Oh, no, did I not do it furnished? Hold on. I must have moved myself out with my furnishing. I haven't uploaded it to the gallery yet, but it is in my library, thankfully. Um... Let me place it and then we'll look at it. <laughs> it's a lot cuter with furnishings. I mean, go figure. All right, that looks a little bit more like it should. Um, so I just ended up making this tiny little porch area so that the Sims could hang out. I did go with kind of the purple mauve color choices from the pack. Uh, the door was hard because it didn't really match any other windows that I wanted to use that had a white trim. So I kind of futzed around with that a little bit. And uh, so you can see this is the outside of it. And then this is what I did inside. You can tell me if you like it or not. But 
I kind of based it off a lot of the tiny house um, shows that I watch. And in my back of my mind, it was kind of like one of the ones that would be on a trailer. And I was thinking it would be like um, a 240 to or a 160 to 240 square foot sized house. Uh, probably in real life would have a loft area. But basically, I squeezed everything in and I wanted it to feel luxurious like there was plenty of room so that was the idea and then this desk area here I, in my imagination the non sitable poof would scoot over here and a sim would sit on it and work on the desk and I will put this up in the gallery now that embargo has lifted so if you guys want to get it I did have to put my flamingo pink uh, shower in here just for giggles and of course my flamingo's gone. I had a flamingo out in the yard and now it's gone. Oh no. <laughs> Walking says, I love porch areas. It's really uncommon here in the UK to have porches, sadly. Really? That's terrible. Hi, Amanda. How are you? You love it? You love it, Ben? Thank you. Thank you so much, you guys. All right, let me go in and make some edits really quick. Uh, and then I'm going to put this in the gallery so that if you guys are going to pick this up, you can. I don't know where the sink went. I might have saved it without that. And then we'll look at the items. Um, and then we'll go in and do create a sim because I haven't done that yet. And I wanted to do that with you guys. But I think for now on, I'm going to put a flamingo in every one of my builds. <laughs> so if you do any of my challenges, make sure you add a flamingo. All right, so let's talk about color swatches. Let me take these walls down a little bit. So everything in here, with the exception of like the cabinets and the appliances are from this pack. The whole idea was, uh, of course, to fit it all in. Ben says, let me tell you something. Feeling, seeing your tiny home made me super happy because it's so good. My friend uploaded his first build on the gallery and it is typically not the best at making builds and you cried to fix it. Well, I can't build big builds, but tiny houses, I got this. I've watched enough tiny house living <laughs> to get that down. Rasputin, <laughs> rah, rah, Rasputin. Yes, this is for a little, a little family. One or two people could do this. So first of all, I want to start with this wall um, painting because I really love it. I love all the art in it. It's super duper cute. And if you do a cupcake shop, I love that they added a couple more cupcakes and I had to add that into mine. The table and chairs, I really love. Even though it's similar to stuff we have, I really love it. I was disappointed that there weren't very many color swatches for the table, but the fact that we have now a table with compact legs, oh, made me so, so happy. Ben says, I have a little flamingo in all of my builds. Evil laugh. <laughs> I love you so much, Ben. You just have no idea. Here are the basic color swatches of pretty much everything. So you can kind of see the theme that they were going with. I do like that they added this like purpley pink theme to it as well. Uh, you know, because I was able to go with that, like the purple and the orange touches here. Um, I don't necessarily know why the rose color couch is here because it's like the only rose color thing that they did. Like I would have expected the couch to be the fabric of that chair. Not sure why. Zach said, I just watched the new video. What did you think, Zach? Katie says, everything in the pack looks awesome. Oh, Katie, I'm so glad. Amanda loves it. But I'm, I'm definitely going to be brutally honest because there are things I really love about this pack. And, uh, you know, like I said earlier, if you just want it for this uh, Murphy bed, it's worth the price of the pack. Bar none. This, this Murphy bread is fantastic. And I'll show you how the Murphy bed comes as well. 
But these are the color swatches. That black, does there something look wrong with this black one? Why isn't it changing this? Do you notice that? It's like that has to be changed automatically, but I placed it as one item. I should have closed out all my other packs, but I was in a rush to stream, so I didn't. Um, so when I place this, oh, hold on. Okay. When I place this, oh, that's interesting. Now it's even bigger than when I placed it. What? Oh, wrong one. Okay. <laughs> I was like, where'd it go? So it must be modular. I didn't even realize that when I placed it, that it's modular. That's really fascinating. I kind of like it like that. And I kind of like the fact that this one must be too. So you could have that, I mean, seriously, I love that they did that and then they put them together so you don't have to come up with it, but it's there as an option. Impressed, color me impressed. Oh, Zach, thank you for the bits. You want The Sims 4? I wish you could get The Sims 4. The Murphy Beds painting hints for a new snow resort pack. Similar to washing. Yeah, I know, but I did not realize that when I placed this. Honestly, I thought it was attached. I think that's that's pretty cool. I like that. Um, I like the Murphy beds even more now, if that's possible. Gamer girl, hi, how are you? Welcome. Whacking says that the modular pieces you just know some creative builders will do great things and amazing color combos. That and uh, CC. I can't imagine what the CC will be like. Zach, we don't do any talk of age in the chat. So your uh, chat message has to get deleted. You have to be 13 or older to be hanging out in my Twitch. So you did the survey and they asked about which winter sports you'd like to see. What did you guys say? Um, and what packs did, or what like comedy, or um, what, what do I wanna say? What collabs did you wanna see? I put down Ikea and Disney. <laughs> Those were my two that I was like, yes. <laughs> Slent, you're too banned. Banned, banned, banned. <laughs> Hi, Slent, how are you? All right, so then I showed you the color swatches that. This is another thing that I absolutely love because I'm obsessed with succulents right now. We have like two whole succulent racks in my back porch these days. Uh, and I thought this was cute. And I was really glad that they came out and did the swatches the way they did on this one. Because I think it can be used in a lot of builds. And I think I'll probably use it in a lot of builds, personally. IT, Ikea and Cotton On. Interesting. Cotton On would be good for the CAS, I guess. I didn't even think about, like, clothing. Because I hate our, I hate when they do the clothing collabs. I'm just not a fan. Not That last one we did was just terrible. Okay, then we've got this lamp. Same, I mean, same color swatches pretty much for everything. I do want to talk a little bit about the color swatch for the front door. So, I mean, I like a lot of the colors, but I tried to match it to a lot of windows, and I really struggled. And this is a door style that I would probably use a lot. Um, Slut wants to know why you can't be 12 and under. Because legally in America, maybe elsewhere, 
to sign up and be on Twitch, you have to be 13 or older. And of course, I have my channel set for mature audiences, so um, even more important that you we don't talk about ages because this is this is geared at way over 13. So, yeah. Whacking says, I wrote IKEA for the brand Collaboration City, living and I'm living to improve. I can't remember what, what packs I did. I had like six packs picked for the improvements. <laughs> and then they were like, no, you could only have three, I think. So I had to go through and figure out like which ones were the most important to me. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was a struggle. It took me it took me a few minutes to do that. I had so many things I wanted to say. Um, the chairs here, I do like them. Again, everything feels very similar to stuff we've had, but I really like the style. I really love this table. So, um, let's, let me go real quick and just upload this to the gallery. save that new to the gallery so there it is if you guys when you get the pack if you would like download it I would not recommend I mean if you want the shell you can download it uh, if you don't get tiny living but none of the furnishings will come with it so except for like the kitchen and bathroom stuff uh, and even the ba oh actually you won't even get most of the bathroom stuff because the toilet is new the sink is new, the mirror is new, and so is this. So I'll show you the color swatches these come in. Hard to tell on a lot of this, the changes, which I was kind of surprised. I like the mirror, but it seems so like high and you can't lower it, so. I did like this little compact sink storage area. And I really love the shape of the toilet. I thought that was a really nice, nice modern toilet look. Ben says, when the survey asked for what winter sport I was interested in, and I live on a tropical island, so I was like, a clownfish. Yeah, I don't like the winter stuff. Hi, Mad Robloxian. How are you? Whacking says, Ben, I don't really like any winter sports, to be honest, so I wasn't keen on any of their suggestions. Sledding would be cool for kids. Yeah, I think I did sledding, downhill skiing. I can't remember what the other options were, but... Not like they went in cross country skiing. I was like, no, that's terrible. <laughs> you like the shine on the sink and the toilet? Yeah, I do too. I really just like the um, whole aesthetic of them. I'm just, I love the shape of this mirror. I just hope in a they do a fix for the next like bug fixes and just lower it like one notch because it's tall, so it could go lower. Yeah, luxury crapper. Hi, Sim Michelle. How are you? You like the bathroom items? Nice. Ben says, there were two different skiing. I was like, what's the difference? So one's downhill, which is really fast, and then one's cross country where you put skis on and just kind of slide above the snow so you can go, it's like cross country running, but on skis. I'm doing really good, Robloxian. Wacking says, when they build tiny houses, I like to add a two-tile wet room, toilet, sink, and then university shower in the middle. Oh, that's smart. <clears throat> that's really smart. 
Okay, and this puff, by the way, is not a C, in case you guys are wondering. It's actually um, just a table. But I love it. Like, beyond love it. And then here's one of the combinations that they did. So this actually functions as a bookshelf and as a, a TV stand. So it's like multifaceted. I'm going to go into play here real quick. Have my sim self come in so I can show you. Um, so you can read, watch TV, um, listen to music from it. And then, you know, of course, you throw in a video game console and it becomes everything. Oh, my gosh. That university shower was one of the greatest things they ever gave us, truthfully. Um, here, you guys want to see the bed in action? And I do really, I wonder if I can show off the swatches. No. Oh yeah, maybe it will now. Okay, so this is how you can see the bed swatches. I love the blanket at the end. And I really like a lot of the choices that they did for the bedding. I just think it's, I think it's so pretty. I just, I, I, I don't know what to tell you guys, but I just think it's so pretty. Let me go back into play. It's tiny, but lovely. Thank you. Isn't that cool? I want to see, I want to have her. Well, here, I'll have her get in bed. Oh, wait, I don't think she's supposed to be able to walk through the bed, but. <laughs> now let's have her put the bed up. Oh, girl, don't be hungry. Come on. Put that bed up. Isn't that great? Can you not go to the bathroom? I might have autonomy turned off. <laughs> get, you to, get you to see the new toilet in use. There you go. <laughs> You're not sure about how you feel about it being automated. What do you mean by that, Ben? Whacking says, yeah, you can put a toilet on one tile, sink in another tile, then have that shower in between using move objects that's fully functional without glitching the Sims. And Michelle says, yes, I have been building a trailer park and I use that setup in everyone. Oh my God, Michelle, I want to see your trailer park. Whacking says, then some immaculate white shelves above full of toiletry. That's a nice little wet room. I love that. And in the UK, a lot of bathrooms are wet rooms, aren't they? Where everything's kind of on top of each other and there's no like separated out shower room. Tiny, but defined. She did that with magic powers. What I really want to do is just do it enough to have it. Um, let's just have her keep doing it. Because I want to see the attack of the bed. Yeah, she should. I see what you mean by the automation bed. She should have like a remote control or something uh, for that. Can we go up and down, up and down? Oh, wait, I just told her to sleep, but there's no bed. Sim says, tiny and cute. Michelle says, the Colonial's house are everything. By the way, I love so many orange swatches. I know, I do too. I really love orange and purple together. I don't know why, but I really wanted to go with like the pink, you know, because that's kind of my aesthetic. And I love that I was able to like pull it all together, especially using that wallpaper. Just this house, I, I said it in my video, but this house is like one of my favorites. How do I get it to break? I want it to break, hold on a minute. All right, I want this to break so bad. I wanna see the deaths. 
University dorms here in the UK do that with the kind of wet room closet set up. So that's where I got the idea. And Katie said, not all of them, just some, mainly if you're disabled. Well, I know that I've seen like a lot of House Hunters UK and things like that where um, they go into, in Europe generally, maybe not the UK, but they go into these houses and there's like a toilet and there's a sink and then there's a shower on the wall and the floor is all tile with the drain in it. So you literally could have the shower on and be using the toilet at the same time. It kind of reminded me of like a cruise ship. Does anybody know how to break this? It is in the gallery, Michelle. Thank you very much. I just uploaded it to the gallery during the stream. I had to wait because I made it before uh, today. So I just had to wait. Oh, good. Is it breaking? Is it going to break? She moved and it broke. I was waiting for that. <laughs> then she gets it to go down. <laughs> Whacking says, in the UK university, dorms often have that sort of, oh, it's a closet with a sink, a shower, and toilet. Yes, you can die from this. I mean, killing my sim self happens quite often to me, unfortunately. <laughs> I want to see it again. I want to see if she'll die. All right, so you could do it so many times. And then when she moves, we know it's breaking. <laughs> we'll just keep doing this. Hi, El Fishy. How are you? Welcome. I am doing really well today. How are you doing? We're trying to, to kill my sim self. It's a murder stream. Just a murder stream, you guys. If you don't, if you're not into murder, don't, don't bother. <laughs> and then, okay, after we're done with this, we're gonna, oh, the, good, good, good. Okay, let's see. We're gonna build a tiny home today. Oh, but we lived. I wanted to die. Um, but anyway, we are going to build a tiny home today. We're going to look at create a sim. This is a micro home. So I thought the next one I would try to build would, we could either do another micro home uh, or try to build the next tiny home. The, the bigger small house would be pretty easy. It's 100 by 100. So, um, and also, if you guys want to i am having a tiny build challenge there's the information there if you have more questions about it please join my discord if you're going to take part of it please join my discord because i'll ask you to share that you're being part of it in the discord so i know who uh wants me to tour their houses and other good stuff i would love that Let me get caught up on chat here. Michelle's laughing at my misfortune. <laughs> Katie's like, whoop, whoop, up, up, up. She's moving to the other side. What's going to happen this time? Is it a different animation when you die? All right, apparently I'm just going to get beat up and not die. Whacking says, cheap hotels and hostels across Europe have that type of bathroom, too. Ben's like, so what does your sim self do? Mine just dies. She wanders from place to place. <laughs> yes, gamer girl. I could be a little evil, but I feel like it's okay since it's my sim self. <laughs> Forget pack review. It's murder time. Yes. Well, but I'm not having much luck with the murder side of things, though. This sucks. And Katie's like, is it Tuesday yet? Soon, Katie. Soon. Oh, Ben says, not Heather. He got a job. Married, lives in a mansion. Heather, I kill my sim self. Yes. My sim self's a vagabond. She just moves from house to house to house. Sometimes gets struck by lightning and dies. Yeah. 
If you don't kill at least one play test or wall building, is it even a build? That is a really good question, Michelle. That is a really good question. <laughs> All right. Is it going to happen this time? No. Death does not become me. <laughs> Gamer Girl says I love it. We should be counting how many times I can do this. Katie, thank you so much for that subscription, my love. I'm so thrilled. Thank you. You just made my whole day. Just made my day. Thank you very, very much. You just earned the new sub achievement. Now you can use my emotes. I love it. All right, is anybody keeping track of how many times I'm moving this up and down? Because I'm not. But it feels like it's like four or five times before it tries to kill me. Yay, Katie's got those emotes going. I love it, Katie. And look at Amanda doing the same. You guys make my hearts happy. My hearts. I have more than one heart. I have so much love in my heart that I have more than one. Just for you guys. Wait, every once in a while it doesn't give me the put the bed down. All right, I'm just going to do this one more time. And if I can't kill it, kill myself, I don't know what to do. Look at that. That just makes me happy. Yours and Steph's. I know. Isn't it great? You can flip them back and forth. I have to upload. Steph changed the color of her um, emotes to match her kind of aesthetic. And I she sent me them. She sent me my ones, and I have to upload them. The problem is Twitch takes like a week to approve my new emotes, and I have to remove an emote to put in a new emote. So I feel really bad about doing it, so I just kind of left it. Oh, Ben. Maybe someday you can subscribe again or get another gift sub. But you can also use them by earning feathers. Don't forget that. I forget what it is for the feathers, but you can unlock a random one at 1500 or modify one at a thousand feathers. So. Oh my gosh, Michelle, it did three weeks. That would kill me. Oh, Katie, that was so sweet of you. Ben, Katie just gave you a gift sub. Oh, thank you so much, Katie. You're just making my heart get bigger and bigger and bigger. All right. If it doesn't kill her this time, I'm giving up. Girl's not meant to die today. <laughs> So do you guys want us to build a house together? Like, you guys help me? Ben, she's just a generous, loving soul. Spreading that love. Oh my gosh, Katie! Thank you! Oh my gosh! That is so sweet. Now, now Michelle has a gift sub from Katie too. Katie, you're so generous. Thank you. I love that. Now everybody can use the emotes. Whoop, whoop. And I want to see emotes in the chat. If you have my sub emotes or any cute emotes that you like, spam them in the chat for Katie because she is so generous. Thank you, Katie. Okay, I'm not even breaking the damn bed this time. <laughs> You think it's fun if we build together? Okay, we'll do that. I'll let you guys guide me in the build. I love it. I love it. Marcel, thank you. You're beautiful too. Oh, okay. Wait, this is a different animation. Am I going to die this time? She didn't die. But we got a different animation, but she didn't die. That's okay, boys. can be beautiful. <laughs> Ben's like, I'm just watching Katie gives a gifted sub to everyone in the chat. Well, Ben, that might be a little much. But 
I'm very thrilled with Katie's generosity. All right, so do you guys want to look at Create a Sim and then do our build? Do you think that would be a good way to go? Oh my gosh, Katie! Oh, thank you, Katie! Look, my heart's just expanding. You are so sweet. And I love it when all those emotes go all over the screen. Just makes me so happy. <laughs> Katie, you're a doll baby. Thank you, love. Thank you, thank you. You guys, keep those emotes spamming in the <laughs> chat for Katie. Oops, Katie's finger slipped. And look at that. You moved into the number one spot for gifted subs there, Miss Katie. So thank you very much. Um, anyway, so guys, what are you thinking? CAS and then the build or build and then CAS? I'm thinking CAS so we can build a sim to move into the house or two. Let me know what you want to do. Oh, somebody's coming over to visit me, and I'm in my pajamas. He's cute, too. I think I'm going to uh, do a friendly introduction. Well, hello there. Don't mind me in my pajamas. I thought you were hot, so I figured I'd come out in my little short, short. Oh, look, brag about really, really micro home. I'm going to brag about my micro home. Oh my gosh, Katie! Stop it! You're gonna make me cry! What the hell are you doing? <laughs> Thank you, Katie. Look, it's getting bigger. Oh my god, what a Sunday. Thank you. You don't like odd numbers. <laughs> Guys, get those sub emotes going in the chat for Miss Katie. Everybody wants CAS and then build. Okay. I'm just gonna just keep talking to Dawn here and then let's go. Actually, let's pick a lot. Let's go into the lot next door. Oh, I love seeing all those emotes. Ben says, it reminds me of Ronnie when Ronnie gave everyone in Steph's chat a gifted sub, like over a hundred people. Oh my God. Ronnie is so generous. Oh, I know. So generous. Stephanie gets broken a lot. Oh my gosh. Okay, he's really cute. What the hell? Waj, hello. How are you? Welcome. Oh my God, Katie. Stop it. My room's not big enough for how big my heart feels right now, Katie. I love you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, this guy's hot. Should I just save him? I'm just going to save him because he's cute. Give him a name and I'm going to put him in my... I don't even know what I'm going to make him do. Let's see. Yeah, he's so cute. Maybe I should make him an animal lover. And then I'm putting him in my gallery, like saving him, and then we'll start again. Because <laughs> he's so cute. All right. I saved him. Okay, now. <laughs> you guys ever do that? Just get somebody in, create a sim that is just so good looking, you want to keep them? Oh, my gosh. Jada, I am doing good. How are you? You have an odd number again, Katie. Oh, my God. Oh, you're gonna make me cry, girl. <laughs> you're gonna make me cry. Okay. Um, let's let's just keep Jared and we're gonna make a girl. And then let's just randomize. Okay, she's funky. We'll just randomize her. Let's give her a name. Alright, and they can just be uh household members, I guess. We'll randomize her because we didn't get any new traits or anything. We'll make her deviant. <laughs> make him nice and sweet, her deviant. Okay, let's go in look at the creative sim because I have not looked at any of this stuff. So, here's the guy's hair. Oh, he's even cuter with that hair. <laughs> 
You want a hippopotamus for Christmas? I know. I don't know where she came up with that song, Ben. <laughs> she, B Stephanie and I were best friends, but we could not be more different in how, how we come up with things. She is so creative. Um, I really like this hair, but I think it's unisex, isn't it? Yeah, I think that was unisex hair. <laughs> because this is the hair that um, Sim Guru Ninja used to make um, Kate, Sim Guru Kate, recreate her. Oh, let's take your hat off, girl. Okay, that's cute. So we got four. If I take the feminine off here, how? No. We got four, five, five hairstyles, I think, in this pack. Because we have these three for the women, and then this one, and then there was another one for the men. Oh, my gosh. I like that one. Is that Was that the men's one? Why did I think it was longer? What am I trying to do here? Why is it not showing me any masculine hair? Oh, I guess it wasn't. Ben's still singing. <laughs> yeah, I like, I actually like all the hairs in this pack. I like that really short hair though on the women. The Sims really kind of not attractive though. But I like that too, though. It looks kind of old fashioned, doesn't it? Her face, I think the reason I don't really like her is her face is very sharp and angular. You really like her, Ben? Do you really? Is there kid stuff in this one? All right, I got a kid. All right, let's go back to the guys. Face contains new items. Oh, everything probably. What the heck? Why is it not letting me? <clears throat> I should have gone through and filtered all this before stream, but I wish there was a way to set a filter for the whole creative sim. Especially with stuff packs, because it's all the way at the very bottom. Oh, so we got some new glasses. I like those actually. Yeah, a lot of everything, a lot of the things are very similar to other packs. I think it's because we're five years into The Sims 4. I've been trying to think about what, what that is and what that looks like. 
Um, Because, you know, it's kind of the longest route we've had with one pack. I mean, or one game. And it's going to be really interesting as we kind of go through the next, what, year or two they're saying that they still have stuff. Okay, so we got earrings and a necklace. Funny story about these earrings, and one of the reasons that, like, when Ninja made Sim Guru Kate, Sim Guru Kate, right before, I think when she was still working as a Sim Guru for The Sims Mobile, um, she found some plum bob shaped earrings at Target and bought them and then wore them, like, every time the game changers would be there or whatever. And uh, so that's what these remind me of. I've always wanted to steal those earrings from her. So then I like the necklace as well. I don't use the necklaces a lot. But I do like the color. I like that rose gold. But yeah, I've always threatened Kate that I wanted to steal those earrings. It is a lot of content. The art, I mean, yeah, if you look at like base game to now, but we are starting now to see things to be very similar. Like Stephanie has been recreating rooms like before the pack came out that looked almost identical. Like with the um, community stuff pack that's going on, people have been able to recreate the rooms and the renderings just from stuff we have already. Um, all right, let's look at these little kidlins and see what we got. So nice thing, they're continuing the trend of the adult hairs working for the littles. So I like that. But nothing real exciting there. All right, let's move on to the clothes. If I miss anything, yell at me. Michelle says, it's a lot of content. The quality of the art has gone up. Totally lots of similar stuff. Katie, thank you so much for the host. You're being so very generous with us today. I love it. Now you can get one for $100 from Machino, right? I just want to find the Target ones. I want Target to bring them out again. I thought the price of the Machina ones was crazy. Crazy. Let's see what styled looks we have. Whoops. All right. I'm going to get rid of that. Okay, so this is a tiny living styled. I kind of like those pants. I will tell you, when I saw the stuff in the teaser preview video, I wasn't very excited with the CAS stuff. But I like this outfit. I really like the texture on that sweater. All right, what's the other one? Okay, this is the other outfit. I really don't like those boots. But I like the first outfit a lot. Let's just look at shirts. Oh my god, these sweaters are so good. They actually look super cozy. Hi, Snipe. Yeah, I've been on for about an hour now. This is gorgeous. Let's look at the color swatches. The texture, I mean, it feels like you can feel the sweater material. Katie! <laughs> it's gonna explode today, Katie. Thank you so much for gifting Snipe a sub. That is awesome, thank you. Everybody, will you please put your love, if you have emotes that you love, whether they're mine or someone else's, 
throw them into the chat for Katie because she has been so generous today gifting six subs to you guys. I am blown away, Katie. Thank you for your generosity. I love you, my friend. Okay, this shirt's weird. Do you guys like this shirt? I don't know how I feel about this one. For a girl, maybe? If I saw a guy wearing something like this in real life, I don't know if I'd like it. <laughs> Ben's like, get out, Katie. <laughs> Snipe was, I was planning to sub to her anytime when my credit card didn't get rejected, but okay. <laughs> Well, now you're safe for a little while because Katie has been a generous bee today. It's a good thing. Katie, I can't wait to go to Minecraft later today and see your lighthouse. All right, nobody's telling me if you like this sweater or whatever it is. I don't like it. I don't think I like it for the guys. Now, this is okay. It kind of looks like a bowling shirt. Wait, do you see, like, I'm going to mouse over it, but right around here, when I stop with the glow, look, does it look like it's not made right? It looks, that looks terrible. It doesn't look so bad on all the colors, but that yellow swatch is awful. The orange swatch is bad. The blue, it kind of blends in. But the orange and the yellow look awful. You cannot wait for me to see it. You're happy with it. I am so, like, I cannot wait to see the whole of uh, AGG Town because I saw some screenshots. I know James sent me a DM today on Twitter that he's been working on something. And I... I think my mind is going to be blown. <laughs> I love all these creative people hanging out over there because I, I just soak in your creativity. All right. I like this jacket. Hi, Ronnie. How are you, my love? I'm glad you made it in. These sweaters, though, are everything. I think I'm the most excited about the sweaters in this pack so far. Well, I don't really love this one. But it's just not my style. But this one and this one, those are fantastic. You just woke up, Lucky. Ben's like, okay, I'm going to go to bed before I get more hysterical. Good night, Ben. Love you. See you tomorrow. Snipe's like, when are you going to play Minecraft? Well, I'm going to finish this stream whenever I finish it. Then I think I'm going to take a break and go eat lunch. And then I'll probably come back and do Minecraft later. Hi, Jesse. Thank you so much for the follow, my love. You are the newest flamingo in the Flamingo Lagoon, and I am happy to have you here. I don't know what that noise was I just heard. It's offline right now? Well, Snipe's the person to talk to to get it back online. I just heard like a really loud noise in my ear, and I don't know what it was from. Oh, that's the Minecraft server? Okay. <laughs> that sound. I forgot that I had that window open. Yes, okay. Thank you, because I was like, what is that? All right, let's go on to full body. Which we have one, and it's P. It could be workout or PJs. I like that, actually. See what swatches it comes in. I think I saw Ninja post a picture with this little panda peeking out of the pocket. Those are definitely like PJs. That's so cute, actually. And that would be good for girls or boys. I hope they made that for the kids, too. All right.
What do you guys think of the CAS stuff so far? Oh, wow. I'm glad I saved him. <laughs> He's well built. Okay, I don't know how I feel about these pants. I'd probably put them on a girl sim before I put them on a boy sim, but maybe it's just the boots. <laughs> well, I don't think it's just the boots. <laughs> what about... Okay, those are all right by themselves. I did like them in the pairing, so... But I'm just not sure about the plaid... For a guy. Depending maybe on what the shirt looks like. I don't think we have new accessories. But let's check. Nope. And did we get new shoes? I don't think so. Nope. Okay. So that's it for the guys. Let's check out the girls. So we have two styles for her. I think this is, wasn't this like the one that the cover girl was in? Um, When I was in high school, these like sweater skirts were all the rage. Are they coming back? Or are they, is this supposed to be corduroy? They definitely look like a sweater skirt. They were so comfortable. I'm not loving this um, crop sweater because girls typically, at least my kind of girl, does not like to walk around in the winter with my stomach showing when it's like 10 degrees outside. Snipe says, am I the only one that thought Sims 4 was like put aside? What do you mean? Mr. Fantastic Pug, hello, how are you? They do look strange, I know. It's weird. Dylan, hello, how are you? Last night was a lot of fun, Ronnie. I had a lot of fun. It was over too soon. And I went to a part of Tampa that I've never been to before at night. And it was quite an experience. Okay, those are the pants I think that the guys had on. I'm not sure I like them any better. Let me give her different shoes. Oh, I can't because I have my filters on. Okay, well, never mind. We'll just have her go barefoot. I do like the sweater. It looks cozy, like especially for these cold winter days. I like that sweater. I'm not sure I like the sleeves though. I think I like the guy's sweaters better. I like this. I definitely like this combo. I don't think I'll ever, I'll probably never use this sweater unless it's on like a randomly generated sim. Not my favorite. Ronnie's going to go eat. Okay, Dylan, thank you so much for the host. You kind of fell down your stairs last night. How did you do that? Did you hurt yourself? Are you okay? I mean, I know you say you're okay, but are you really okay? Did you, any anything bad happen? I think the server's up. <laughs> the server for Minecraft is online, you guys. Yeah, right, Michelle? I agree. I kind of like the guy stuff better. Though, honestly, I'd wear this dress. I don't have any dresses like that, but it looks super comfy. I would probably wear it as a nightgown, though. Maybe without the pocket. I'm not sure I like the pocket. The dress, though, looks really comfortable. Hi, Jenna. Oh, my God. Why do you have hives? Are you having an allergic reaction to something? Um, Dylan wants to know, is this pack an expansion or a stuff pack? It is just a stuff pack, Dylan. Just a little stuff pack. Yeah, I would wear that dress in the house. I'd never wear it out of the house, but I would wear it in the house for sure. I'm glad they made the pajamas for the girls, too. 
because they're so cute. I want these pajamas. I would totally wear these. For sure. All right, so we get this like sweater skirt, corduroy skirt thing. And then we get the pants. So they did do the pants for both the girls and the boys. Exact, it looks like they're pretty much exactly the same. I definitely like them better on the girls. And I think with some cute tops, they could look super cute. I would. I don't think I'll ever wear those or put those on a guy, though, to be honest. All right, let's look at the kiddos. We've already looked at the hair, same as the adults. Nothing for kids. Nada. Not a thing for kids. Ben, I hope you saw that. You're allergic to your pillow, Jenna? Oh my God. And Dylan says, some Sims clothes are ugly. Yes. The skirt matched her bra. We work hard around here to match the bras and the skirts. Um, He doesn't need a shirt though, does he? I think we should just leave him shirtless. Just saying. Amanda says, I will be back. My mom is helping me with the hair. Okay. I'll see you when you get back, Amanda. These live streams, do you not like them, Snipe? I do. I love checking out new packs. Okay. And you know, of all the games I play, The Sims is my heart. The Sims is my heart. I've played The Sims for 20 years and Sim City before that. Oh, Snipe says, I imagine I have, I have, laugh out loud, imagine that. I've typed 645 comments in live streams. You are a talker and I appreciate that. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. All right, I'm going to save these guys. <clears throat> oh, wait, we should probably at least put a shirt on her. What top could I put on her? I want something. I don't want this top. Here, let's do a, no. We'll do a tiny living top just because I'm going to upload them. There, that looks better. All right, so I'm going to upload her as she is. Oh, I should probably put different hair on her, though, since I left that hair on him. She, you really... That, that face is not one of my favorites, but I'm going to upload her anyway, and uh, then we'll go build a house. We'll put them in. <laughs> I love him shirtless. <laughs> oh, I should. There we go. Okay. We're going to put... Tiny Living Fam... him up there. I had to leave him shirtless. He's way too cute. <laughs> Coxie Normus, thank you so much for the follow. You're the newest flamingo in the flamingo lagoon. And I'm thrilled you're here. All right. Now we got to find them a place to live. So let's build them one. Yes, you. By following me, you became a flamingo in the flamingo lagoon. All right, let's build this house. No. <laughs> no, flamingos are my thing too. Flamingo does not own flamingos. <laughs> oh, Jenna, I'm so glad to hear that. <laughs> oh, hi, Baron. How are you? You're going to do Twitch for fun, but maybe in the future I'll do donations and stuff like that and subscriptions and that. But anyway, I'm glad to be here. Yeah, Baron, once you get to be an a affiliate, you can do all that fun stuff. <laughs> Croxy says, and I'm the B do the B and the and she be bad. <laughs> You're going to go eat, Snipe? All right, go eat. Go eat. All right, who's ready to build a tiny house? So we have our micro house there. Should we do 
Let me make it tiny home residential. Should we make it the 64 or do you want to do another micro? Jenna, it is okay if it's not eating dog food. Whatever you can get your dog to eat, feed it. Feed it. When my dog was sick and before we knew we were going to have to put him to sleep, I was doing everything. I was giving him every people food that he loved. And I knew it was really bad when he wouldn't eat the people food and the stuff that you used to love. So... I don't think dogs are supposed to eat chocolate. I think it's poisonous to them. You're going to go do some homework? Okay, bye, Farron. I'll see you when you come back. But Jenna, that is such a good sign. Vodka. <laughs> Jenna, be nice. Be nice. I think, I think Coxie's just playing. Just playing. Okay. Okay. So here we go, guys. 64 tiny house or do we want to do another micro house your choice all right michelle thank you so much for hanging out today i love you big boy house <clears throat> my dog kelly that i had since i was little died at 14 years old in 2015 oh that's so sad i i just lost my dog the day after christmas Second dog I lost this year. My other dog died in February. And they were both old, though, like 14 and 15. Welcome back. All right, micro. Okay. We got a micro. So I'm going to let you guys guide this. So we need to do 32 by 32. What, do you, what kind of size do you want? Okay, you're right, Coxie. It was not this year. I lost both dogs in 2019. So we don't want to do a repeat of this style. Anybody have suggestions? Um, one thing we could try. Let me, let me open this because I haven't really played too much with Oh my God, right there is 30. Oh boy. And Ver, thank you so much for the follow. You're now the newest Flamingo hanging out with us in the Flamingo Lagoon and we're thrilled you're here. What about a micro house on stilts? I could totally do that. Do we want to just do one big square loft? The up house. I don't think we can do the up house micro wise. <laughs> Let me see. Do you like it like that? I think I'm going to do like a whole island living series of just stilt tiny houses. I have two tiles to play with. That wasn't what I wanted it to do. What am I at? Oh, that took me to 34. Oh, because it's too wide. All right, we're right at 32 here.
Okay, so the stair platform, even though technically it's a tile, it doesn't count against you. But longer rectangular is easy because you have more wall space than a square. Coxie thinks it looks like a spider and is seven feet tall and need a big boy house. <laughs> Wagon says you can do the second floor trick and use pillars instead. I prefer that to foundations with have too many poles. Yeah, they do have a lot of poles, but I do like that um, they auto make for me. But I typically, I mean, all those many years, that's how I did it, was with the stilts. All right, that put us to 20. I'm actually thinking that gives us 12 to play with. Okay, if I do that, we are at 32. Jenna, I can't do the up house today. <laughs> it's not going to work. Coley, hi, how are you? Oh, that's a good idea. An L shape with something like the living room or an outdoor balcony space. Whoa, but could we use, all right, hold on. Would this count though? Because what I'm thinking is maybe like a loft. So like upstairs could be like a sleeping loft. What just happened? Nothing? Oh, did it blow out? Okay, it did. So I'm thinking like, why couldn't I? Do something like this. If I blow out one piece, is it going to bring up the floor again. Shoot. Because what I'm wondering is if I put flooring out here, this could be basically a patio area, an outdoor hot tub or whatever. These aren't my final finishes. But I'm just kind of playing with the idea to see what triggers. Oh, now we're at 38. It's a shoe. It does kind of look like a shoe. We're at 40. Oh, because I put the fence. Look at that. Because I put the fence around this. I didn't even notice that. If I, if I didn't put the fence around it. As soon as I enclose the fence, it moves it up. But if I leave the fence open, hmm. So theoretically, why couldn't I? This is interesting. So as long as I don't enclose it, whoops. You guys see that? If I, yeah, when I close the fencing, it does. I mean, I could do that, but look, if I leave it open, here's what I'm thinking though. Why couldn't I?
I just want to move it, move the stairs so I can make a landing on the first floor. Why can't I do that? Look at this. So what if I did something like that and put the first floor door here, put a second floor door up there. I mean, that could totally work. Oh, but I wanted to have Hmm, I wanted to have it be like a loft, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do that because obviously we need to be able to walk. And I, is there, oh, I could do that probably. How come I can't get my floor back there? <clears throat> So here's what I could do. That way there'd still be like a loft area. We're still at 27. You can come into the bedroom. We'll put a Murphy bed up there, and I think that'll work. Make that the bathroom. Do you want the bathroom up there? Okay, so let's see. Whacking's liking it. Okay, living space on the balcony, kitchen upstairs, then bathroom with an ensuite on the bottom. Let me put some lights in, and we'll go on the bottom here. Let me make sure I have all my cheats on. No, oh, I can't do that in this mode anyway. Um, Floor looks awfully shiny, doesn't it? All right, let's go. Oh, I know what I need to do too. Hold on. I know, like I'm just, I definitely want this to be like a dining room. Like we could have eating out here. We could put a hot tub out here. But I'm thinking bedroom up here. And then we could build a little bathroom down here. And have 
recreation, like TV, all that. We can even put a second Murphy bed down here and have the kitchen, family room, bathroom, and then we'll have another sleeping area up here. Welcome back, Jada. What do you guys think of that? The new stair tool is just so helpful. Yeah, it'll be kind of like, yeah, we could do like a loft bedroom slash guest room. There's going to be two Murphy beds, so people can have sleepover. We could have, I mean, we could probably fit a lot in here. Let's do the roof. And then we'll, we'll lay out the inside. Oh, that's interesting. I just was curious to see if I did that up here. It enclosed in, it didn't count that as extra space. It's gonna be interesting to learning how to learn how they're counting. What kind of roof should I do on this? I hate roofs. That definitely looks like the tiny woman who lived in a shoe or the woman who lived in the shoe. <laughs> I think I've built a house like this before. I'm going to lower it a little bit. Now it kind of looks like a lifeguard stand. Jada says, I'm playing Bloxburg, so if anybody wants to join flat roof, just leave it and put metal on it. Could do that. I love metal roofs. One day, I'm going to have a metal roof. Yeah, I think I like that too. It kind of gives it more of a modern feel. Okay, and then I think on this wall, I think we need to do like big windows. You like that? <laughs> Katie's playing Minecraft. <laughs> Cuckoo clock shoe. Jenna says, no, you hate it. Well, what do you want, Jenna? Give me some suggestions. You hate the roof or you hate the window? Because I'm thinking window-wise, just to bring in a lot of light up there off of the balcony, because that'll flow down to the downstairs. You like the, you like the first roof? You like the Machino windows? Really? We're a little busy for this, though. I love, don't get me wrong, I love the Machino windows. They're some of my favorites. They might be. Well, and we don't, we still don't have, I want a single... I kind of think I like that. You like the roof, the original roof? Okay, let's try. 
Because I can edit that roof a little bit. And then I'll try the Machino windows. Question, if you put stairs and built into the roof, does it just count as a room and add to your tile count? I think so. I do, I think so. Ooh, Jenna, you just gave me an idea. Hang on. What about something like that where the How would I break that? Hmm, I can't. I was hoping I could, like, it's, it's weird because it's not taking the, the, No, but now I can't put the ha the roof back on. Oh, there we go. Okay. Now we have light coming down from above, but not over like where they're sleeping. And then we can put all the windows in. I don't think the Machino windows though, are going to work for what I'm thinking here. I think it's too busy. Because all I want to do, whoops, window wise, is just put windows here. Because that'll flood that upstairs light. And then the bedroom will still have privacy. What do you think? You guys like that? Jenna says base game windows. That's what I used, yeah. What do you think, guys? Do you like that? Should I change the glass to something more interesting? Oh, I kind of like that. I don't know why that one piece of trim on this back 
You like that, Paxton? Thank you. Maybe a glass door to match. Yeah, absolutely. I think we definitely need to change that door. that too much privacy invasion? <laughs> I like it, personally. Yeah, Jenna, absolutely make feather idea request. Paxton, you think it looks good? I'm glad. Welcome, Paxton. I'm so happy you're here. Yes, Paxton, I said you missed it. We did two hours checking out the update yesterday it was great okay jenna yay you like it okay how about you whacking do you think it looks good i'm just gonna change this flooring on the porch for the time being to my my favorite The only thing I don't like is I can't figure out what is going on with that roof trim. This one little piece right here. Do you see that? That's gonna, my OCD is gonna hate that. Why is it doing that? You guys, and we also have three whole tiles left. Custom tiny homes of the Sims for 50,000 feathers or Ooh, that would be good. I love building tiny houses. If we could do three more tiles. Wait, that didn't even, ooh, pulling that out. I like the balance better. Do you guys like the balance better with the size? That's a good idea. Try replacing the roof to fix it. Oh wait, actually moving that out fixed it. Nice. And I can leave the opening bigger, or if I need to adjust it, I can. You like it better? I like it better too. All right. But, and that also means now, get a little more privacy. Whoops. I know, right? Isn't that weird? Okay, so we're at 28 of 32. Yeet, man, thank you so much for the follow. You're the newest flamingo to join us in the Flamingo Lagoon, and I'm thrilled you are here. This will be perfect for, like, island living. We're going to make it like a beach house. Oh, it's, look at that. As soon as I knock down that wall... So it has something to do with that wall. Weird. If I move that roof off, it goes away. It has something to do with this glass roof. You just think it's a shadow? 
Do you really? I mean, I guess we won't really see it because if I take down the roof, it's obviously we're not going to see it. So I'm not going to obsess over it too much. But I think I like that, and I think it gives us a little room to play. I'd like to keep this opening bigger because it's going to bring in a lot of light. What kind of windows should we do on the bottom floor? I think I need to figure out where the bathroom's going to be. Should I? I'm going to try the three square bathroom. Ooh. If I do a bathroom that size, it's going to leave us with that much room for family room kitchen. Paxton, welcome. Well, we'll be here when you come back. I could do a two tile bathroom. How are you envisioning that? But that definitely gives us more space here. The thing is 28. Look, if I bring that out, it only, I don't know how it's counting this space, but we're only at 31 here if I do that. Interesting. Just curious. Okay, that takes us to 34. That puts us at 32 right there. Just for giggles. I can undo this if you guys hate it, but just for giggles. What do you got? Hi, Jim. How are you? What do you guys think? You like it, Jenna? That you don't think that the column is too much? But it totally maximizes our space and gets us to the 32 out of 32. Yeet man. Hi, how are you? A two by one bathroom in the wet room style. Oh yeah, I am getting tiny. You know I love tiny. Let's leave the pillar there for now because um, we'll change it when we figure out what we're gonna do exterior wise, we can change it. I don't even know if I like the foundation. What's the heck is that? Oh, that's weird. I've never seen that before.
That is glitchy. All right. I don't think I like that. We'll have to figure that out. We'll leave it like this for now. Um, it is, okay, this was my first one that I made that I did for my video that went up on the channel today. And that one is just a traditional tiny house gym, so it was super easy. This one is a lot harder. We are max, I mean, we literally are working to maximize all 32 tiles. And this is what we've come up with for the 32. Just gotta throw a foundation on there just because it's ugly. All right. So we're gonna leave, it looks like a boat. I could build this an island living and make it a houseboat. Power Jenna's like, I'm gonna go make a tiny house in Blocksburg. I think I will. I think I'll I think after I'm done building it, we'll we have to move it to Island Living and make it a houseboat. A tiny houseboat. Not sure how I'm gonna pull that off, but <laughs> All right, we need to figure out what we want to do window-wise for the front of this, but, okay, so this is going to be the bathroom, and to maximize it, let's do, we're just going to do a wet room. Oh, wait. Here, look, I was grabbing this thinking it was from the new pack, but this is the one from the new pack. Look at how similar they are. Wait, that is the same one. Hang on. <laughs> Why didn't it grab it? That's crazy. I mean, the footprint is definitely a little bit smaller, but... Will they be able to use that? That'll be playable. Yeah, absolutely, Jenna. Make a tiny house in Blocksburg. I would love that. Um, Jim, yeah, I've been doing a tiny build challenge that runs through the 28th of this month. Actually, I guess it's going to run until the 31st because I'm not going to tour them until the first week of February. Um, but I'm doing, anybody who wants to enter can do a tiny house in The Sims 4, The Sims Mobile, or Welcome to Blocksburg. You do have to go to my Discord, though, and sign up and um, let me know if you want to do it. And no, I did not see Stephanie's one-tile bathroom, but I'm curious about it. Do you think that's good, backpack? I know, but I just like it a little spread out a little more. I really always scoot things to the walls. I make beds go back to the walls. It drives me crazy because in your own house, you typically don't put a bed and leave like six inches between the bed and the wall. It just drives me. You know, it just drives me. <laughs> Move a tile of living and make it a boat. I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to do that. But I'm going to build, I'm going to finish building it on land. All right, I still need you guys to tell me what windows we should do here. 
And for anybody that is new here, hi, I am Heather, aka Arson Girl Gaming, and I play The Sims amongst other things. Of course, Sims is my love, my true heart. And, uh, but I also play Minecraft, Roblox, anything that strikes my fancy. And I am happy you're here with us today. Because if I do a boat, I can definitely keep it a little bit lower. I'm not going to do the stilt, so that'll be good. Uh-oh, Jim. <laughs> Hold on, let me approve that. Sorry. <laughs> if I undid it, can you guys see what he posted? Or do we need to post it again? You lost your Yeet Man account. How'd you do that? Whoops, hold on. Hold on, Jim. Let me give you, let me permit you. <laughs> okay, now you're good. No, 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 you can post it now. It won't time you out. There you go. <laughs> Yeah, it's just, you know, that Streamlabs thing. It's like banned Streamlabs. I definitely want to see that. She's so creative. Ta-da! All right, so do I just go with these glass windows to stay with the same theme? Let me pop them in. Mm, 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 mm. I really wish we could just have walls of glass. That's on my top of my wish list is like just a wall of glass with no seams. You can't sign up on Discord. What do you mean? Jenna, you can come to Discord. On your web browser, Jenna, just go to discordapp.com and you can make an account right on the website. You don't have to download anything. So frustrating. Because my only option is going to be to do this. I guess that doesn't look too bad. You can't get in Discord because you have too many, you have so many, what? That's perfect for that bathroom. All right, what do we think about that, you guys? Because then I can tuck the kitchen back here. I might get rid of one of the windows on either side, just depending on how I need the wall space. You do back it, backpack? You like that better? With the the individual ones? See, I'm different. I, I literally want us to be able to just take, like we put walls up or wallpaper or whatever. I just want to be able to do glass because I want to make greenhouses, things like that with no seams. Well, welcome back, Farron. We're happy to have you, even if it's only for 10 minutes. 
All right, now I just need to figure out what color we do in this outside. The stairs right now are blue. Do we want to stay with blue or do we want to go something else? You guys pick the material. What do you want? I have to say two of my favorite things that The Sims has given us in 2019 are the new stair tools and the new column tools. Ronnie likes green. Jim says, challenge looks nice. If and when I get the pack, I'll need to see if my Sim Guru Frost tiny build contest is truly tiny. Yeah, I mean, Jim, and really for me, it's just I'm just going to tour all the houses. So if you have a tiny house you want me to tour, that's all there is to it. You know me, I just love to see what everybody builds. Oh, you know what I didn't think about? Okay, I just wanted to make sure the bathroom was completely under the loft and it's perfect. Amanda says pink. Whacking says metal. I could do green metal. Dylan, uh, if you would like to enter it in my tiny build challenge, here's the information. Go on the Discord and let me know where you built it and where it is, what it is. That'll give you all the information there. And then um, in February, when I'm getting ready to tour, I will love to see it. I love seeing people's builds. I live for everything you guys create. Do we, which pack did the metal come with? It was, ah, oh, there it is. <clears throat> Island living. Oh, that's right. I don't have a green, but I could do gray and blue. Did we get a corrugated metal or any kind of metal base? We didn't. All right, Farron. You did enter, yay! Okay, Dylan, that's awesome. That's exciting. I can't wait to see everybody's stuff. Ooh, that actually might look good. Lighting is not the greatest. Uh, <laughs> I do hate how the black tin roofs do not actually look black. The color looks totally different. Oh, we could do that. You like that in the black? Why do you love the Sims so much, Logan? 
Yeah, Jenna, DM me where you're building it. Just remind me, DM, send me in a DM and remind me that it's in Blocksburg and to put you on my list. I think I'm going to make it a boat. I like that because they kind of look like the buoys. This, like, the color shades are always so weird. I want to keep the blue stairs, though, so I think I'll just pretend they look more alike. And then... Because the island living lighting is going to be weird or going to be different too. I just have nothing that's like good matchy blues. Okay, that could work, but I think I'm going to have to change the stair color. Unfortunately. But I think that looks better, actually. What do you guys think of that? Yeah, make a town of tiny houses, Jenna. Creativity, that's what it's all about. Whatever you want to do. I think I kind of like how that's coming out. What do you guys think? Welcome back, Snipe. Your Discord account got disabled again, Dylan? Why? It's like my worst nightmare. The lighting is so bad. It just does not do it justice. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, Jenna. All right, now, I think since the exterior looks okay, the only thing I might wanna do is change the trim around the windows. But for now, I'm gonna leave it white just to give it a little contrast. Um, let's figure out what I'm gonna do in this bedroom. But let's start down here. We've got our bathroom laid out. Do some fun colors in there. Actually, let me do the rest of the house before I figure out what I want to do in the bathroom. Lay out the kitchen and then I'm going to switch into tiny living. We're only going to use tiny living to uh, put it all together. So... Jenna's hanging out in my Blocksburg neighborhood. If you guys want to check it out, if you guys have Blocksburg, here's how to find it. Just follow me on Blocksburg and or on Roblox, and then you can find the neighborhood if you want to go check out Jenna's tiny house build in Welcome to Blocksburg. All right, if I'm going to put this in... Paxton says, I'm going to do you on Roblox. Okay, cool. Um, let me put a door in for this bathroom. Oh, I forget that has that sign on it. Isn't there one of these that doesn't have the sign? No. 
Maybe I should do this like porthole bathroom door since I'm going to go with the, the whole boat theme. <laughs> it's going to be funky. And I never use that, that door. You won't be able to stream tonight. That's okay. That's okay. I'm glad you had a good stream yesterday, Farron. So we're doing black and blue outside. I think I'll stick with the blue inside. Because we have enough room in this house to do a fairly decent kitchen. You know what we also should have gotten in this pack? Gosh darn it. You know what we should have done? We should have gotten um, cooktops. You know? Like instead of having to put in a whole oven, they should have just given us the ability to put a cooktop or a hot plate or something. That would have been perfect. So many missed opportunities with this pack. It just makes me so sad. I'm not going to even put in a stove. We're going to pretend we have a hot plate. And I think actually I'm going to get rid of that. I think that works for a nice tiny house kitchen. What do you guys think? I know, right, Jim? I think that would be way better. No, all you have to do is just say in the tiny house or the tiny build challenge part of the Discord that you're taking part in it and where you're building your house. Uh, and then I'm pinning them just so I can kind of keep track. Ronnie says, Cindy's going to love that you're using blue in this house, right? Cindy loves her blue. All right. I think that's everything that doesn't need to be tiny living. So now I'm going to go and I'm going to put in the filter for tiny living. And the rest of the house is going to be all tiny living. Other than, of course, the wallpaper and stuff. Oh, no, you can put a gallery link in there. If you don't have permissions, though, just DM it to me and I'll add it. Benicia, hi, how are you? It's nice to see you today. What I want to try to use is this massive, oh, no, I need the couch. So what I'm going to do is do, oh, it's not going to work. So, maybe just the little guy. Why is it popping out of the wall? Oh, maybe I'll put it on this side, actually. Any hood, thank you so much for the follow. Oh my gosh, Amanda! I didn't even see you do that. Hold on. We're doing five minutes of emote only chat, you guys. So as soon as I get get it ready, Amanda just redeemed that. But I want to say, anyhood, thank you so much for the follow. You're the newest flamingo in the flamingo lagoon. Let's start that five minute timer. Emote chat starts now. 
I am really, really good today, Venetia. Really good. Yeet Man wants to know when are we going to play Minecraft? Probably after I have lunch today. After I eat lunch. I'm going to finish this build and then we're going to do it. Snipe, don't cheat. Don't cheat. You got to do, you got to do the emote only chat. Use your mod skills for good, not evil. Okay, I like it like that, I think. And then I'm going to put like the table over here. So we'll do, if I can scooch it in over here. Hmm. Actually, maybe what I'll do is an actual table and four chairs over here. If I can make it fit. So we have this nice seating area. Now it's too much. How about a table and two chairs? The bed's going to pull down over here. So I wonder if I can fit the TV on that wall. And still let the bed go down. It's going to be tight. Oh, you guys, I love this. I love it. All, all, all those beautiful emotes just make my heart so happy. Keep them coming. Spam away. Mine or anybody else's doesn't matter. I just love emote chat. Makes me so happy. Makes me so happy. Makes me so, 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 so happy. <laughs> all right. I'm hoping this bed is going to work. Because I want to fit in some chairs and stuff, too. I don't think that's going to happen. So we've got love seat, TV. Oh, you know what I could do is I could put a lamp. That fits under the cabinet, so that's good. You guys have two minutes and 30 seconds left of a mo only chat. Two minutes and 30 seconds. Make it worth it. Spam those beautiful emotes. Is anybody else like completely OCD like I am with like where things get placed like to the fraction it drives me crazy snipe says yes you're cheating snipe emotes 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 I love it I love it you guys have one minute and 40 seconds left <laughs> One minute and 40 seconds. Where is... Oh, this is what I'm looking for. Can I fit that above the TV? That's the question without affecting the TV? I think so. Ta-da! All right, 56 seconds left. Love this, you guys. I love this. Looking lovely. Oh, it wants to pop over that other wall. It's driving me crazy. Twenty-three seconds left. Get them in while you can. Splash, thank you so much for the host. You're always so wonderful about hosting me, and I so appreciate that. Okay, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. 
three, two, one, and you guys can talk again. <laughs> oh, look at those Minecraft emotes. I love it. That was so much fun, you guys. Thank you, Amanda, for redeeming that. That was wonderful. Syl, hi, how are you? Syl, whenever I finish this stream, I'm going to take an hour off, and then I will come back, and we will do Minecraft. Uh, I just, I'm going to need to take a breakfast, lunch break. <laughs> I didn't eat because I was so busy trying to get a video up on YouTube today for this pack. Oh, that console's really cute, too. I was wondering if I could make the console into a computer desk, but I don't think so. If I was going to put a desk over here, I could sit and work in the window. And then we'll use the dining chair, I think. I think that would be good. It gives them another little comfy chair somebody can sit in when they're visiting as well. Sil needs 400 more feathers. Paxson, you might be. Kixi, you didn't get a notification? Oh my gosh, make sure your notifications are turned on. Are you in the, you're in the Discord, right? It should also notify in the Discord. You guys, I don't know if this furniture is going to work with the bed. They might conflict against each other, so we're going to have to play test this. But what do you guys think so far? I have to change the color of all the items, but I wanted you guys to help me pick whatever color we're going to do. Do you guys like this layout for the first floor? I think we should do a comfy chair. Oh, I don't think anybody can walk if I do. Maybe. Maybe I'll just do another poof. I love these freaking poofs. You guys like it? Got this whole empty wall for some art. Oh, that console table actually. Where is it? That might could work. Let me put the poof over here because, you know, always thinking about guests. Let me turn this table this way. Cram it into the corner. Console table here. I know we already have... Oh, it only slots the middle. Shoot. I was gonna say, I know we already have books on the one stand, so I think I'll just do the succulents. James, you just finished work. Welcome home. Welcome home. I've been holding off going into Minecraft today so that I could be surprised at what you all did. Oh, you know what? We can put this little, oh, probably should put that on the desk. So all the decor in this house, other than the kitchen and the counters and everything, is all from the tiny living pack. I like how they have like at least two of the same frame, even though the colors don't really go together. Actually, I think I'll leave that. We're going to change, we'll look at the swatches and change the colors. All right, you enjoy your tea. I'm so glad you had are home from work because I cannot wait to see what you have done. We are playing Java Minecraft. <clears throat> oh, you know what I could do? Let's see. Use the new mirror. Do we not have any other real like wall decorations? Just the one? All 
All right, I think I'll do these instead of the flower. I know the color is slightly different, but they're cuter. All right, now let's put in some of these new lights. And I want to use the new rug. So again, we still need to, whoa, hello. Did not mean to do that. We still need to come up with the color scheme that we're going to do. But for right now, I'll leave it as it is. Because I was going to do the bedroom and then we'll figure out what colors. Thank you, James. I'm glad you enjoy the house. Jim said, I finally added some mods to my 1.15 version of Minecraft. I almost always play with mods in early releases. Yeah, we are playing a vanilla version of Minecraft. We're on four, one point. Hold on. I'll tell you in a minute. This is the information for our Minecraft server. It is kind of freaking amazing. We got some really good Sims builders in Minecraft building like amazing stuff. And then Minecraft builders that are in Minecraft that are building amazing stuff. It is like nuts over there. I'm so proud of all my little flamingos. I really am. James says, it's not finished, but I don't want to make you not come in the world. But I also don't want to rush it. So I don't feel like you have to hold back, but I will be going on soon. I've seen a little sneak peek from screenshots, so <laughs> little sneak peek, James, and I am so excited to see it. Katie's like, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, Katie, yeah, Katie, sure you don't, sure you don't. All right, I think up here, can I fit this up here? Oh, no, I can't, okay. okay I wanna use that one so bad, but I'm thinking, I should I not do the couch one up here? Cause I could do that and then just do like a bunch of um, storage, like some of these new dressers and stuff. Ew, why is that popping through that wall? No, you cannot keep any secrets in that world. They were so, they were just so blown away by how wonderful it was that uh, they were just like in awe. And I said, I said, I think James did it because I know what you can build. <laughs> and I figured it had to be you. They should be able to access the bed. That's all right, Syl. Don't worry about it. Let, let Snipe handle all of that. I don't like the bars going across that window. That kind of annoys me. What I'm wondering about is downstairs bed. And also, I'm going to wonder about this one after I do what I want to do to it. Because I'm thinking... I don't think that's gonna work. Shoot. The one thing I could do is just not make this Murphy bed up here. I could actually use the new bed and the cute little night table. Why don't we do that? We'll make this a proper room. Have we used almost everything? Hmm. 
I kind of want to use these things, but this room's just not quite because they're not going to be able to walk past that. Oh, but wait, I could hold on. I could do that. And still have this. They would route around that. What do you guys think of the upstairs? You like that? So I don't know what you mean. Snipe gave everybody 10K and gave himself like 1.01E138. I don't know what you mean. You like that, James? Okay. Jim said, I had fun building a Minecraft kind of house in The Sims 4. You haven't found a Sim that someone made that looks like the default Minecraft character? Did you really? Is it in the gallery? I want to see it. Well, I'm going to put a computer down here on this desk. So we'll put a computer down here. Right now I'm just placing the stuff that's in the tiny living pack. I actually kind of like this color scheme too. Not really with kitchen counters, but I can fix that. Make it all sunshiny. Especially if we're going to really turn this into a boat. All right, the last thing I need to do is set up the outside area. So I think, even though this is not really an outdoor couch, we're going to make it an outdoor couch for the sake of today's video. And I think that means we've used almost everything in the pack that we could use. Hi, Cindy. How are you? Yes, the Minecraft server should be up and running. Yes, it's online. Okay, and then I'm going to go out of tiny living stuff because I just want to do a couple things. I want to add a computer. I'm going to add a grill. Put a little grill over here. And then a little laptop. And then I just need to come up with the wallpaper and stuff. What do you guys think? Are you liking our tiny house so far? All right, we're going to do blue, yellow. Davi, hi, how are you? Maybe a little orange, some white. Just see what we come up with. Could actually just do that. That's very close to the blue. I don't know what floor I want to put down. I 
So the bathroom's kind of small. Oh, maybe I'll do like a gray. I don't like that. Jim says, looks cool and tiny builds look like fun. I love building tiny. I love building tiny. Just move the boat again. Oh my gosh. So I don't know how you're doing that. Ronnie loves it. Amanda loves it. Do you know the lamp is also a table you can put something on it that is small? No. Oh yeah, right here. I didn't know that, but I'm not surprised. I haven't tried. We have to find something to put on that. I just don't know what floor I want. Oh here, that might work. That'll work. Okay, I like that. Yeah, I, I don't like, I typically don't like decorating um, very often, especially when I do a big build. But when it comes to tiny houses, because I'm always thinking, like, how can they use this? Oh, wait a minute, you guys. The Machino wallpaper. Should I? Should I? Tell me yes, because I love that with all the yellow. The flamingo is not being fair to you right now, Katie. What do you mean? What's happening? Are you talking about Heather's flamingo, Sill? Or are you talking about just the flamingo in general? And that reminds me, I need to find a flamingo for this build. Oops, wrong colors. I'll have to wait till I'm not doing the colors. Yeah, oh, I'm definitely placing a flamingo outside. You love the yellow and the blue? Okay. I'm going to do it up. Oh, the one you're trying to make. Oh my gosh. You guys are killing me with all these wonderful flamingo creations. All right. I'm going to do the same wallpaper up here. Oh my God. That looks so good. So, so, so good. So sunshiny. I have the Brady Bunch song. It's a sunshine day. <laughs> Going through my head. All right. Now the trick is, can I find a floor that I like that won't compete too much with that wallpaper? <laughs> I could go wild and just do a pure yellow floor. Am I, I'm not really typically that brave, but I almost sorta kinda like it. I think I'm gonna leave it with the white Rug. What do you guys think? You like it? Is it too much? Oh, I know one thing I do want to change. <clears throat> Just not sure what I want to change it to. So do kind of like a subway tile, <clears throat> excuse me, subway tile in the kitchen. What do you think? Yes, Ronnie, I did. I watched the whole Brady Bunch series. That was awesome. They, I could not believe how good HGTV did with that house. It was amazing. So I'm going to take a break in a little bit. 
So I was like, am I the only one that has not built a flamingo in the Minecraft server? Smoker voice, no, it's it's called getting over a cold voice. Should have heard me yesterday. Oh my gosh, look at that. Dark on the outside, light and pretty on the inside. I am in love with this house. Where is whacking? Where is whacking? I need whacking to tell me what he thinks. It's amazing. Junior, thank you so much for the host. Yes, no smoking. Smoking's bad for your health. Oh my gosh, I love this. Let's upload it to the gallery. Oh, let me name it. What should we name it, you guys? Oh, while you, you guys tell me some name ideas, I'm gonna find a flamingo. Maybe, it's on a little bit of a delay here. Just tuck the little flamingo over there. I'm going to start making sure I add one to every single house. Look, I love how the wallpaper even is on the lamp, like on the walls above the upstairs or the downstairs. James is like, I love that it looks dark and oof. And then inside is like bright and jolly, right? Whacking goes away for 20 minutes and come back to this beautiful, beautiful house. I'm glad you like it. Let me let me show you and then we'll we'll upload it to the gallery once I get some name suggestions. So this is what the upstairs bedroom turned into. And then this is the finished product for the downstairs. And there's our little bathroom everything you need, including a porthole into the potty. <laughs> no peeking. Oh, you know what? I need to do something on the table too. Just a little something. Oh, I don't like where it's slotting things. Shoot, I probably slotted that up too high. Two might be too much, but no, actually, that looks good. Slotting through just a little bit, but I'd rather be it in the table like it could be built in. <laughs> I like. Rusty Dusty, Blue Beach House, Yellow Love says, hey, I would like to know if the remote for the Murphy bed control glitches in your game. I haven't seen it glitch yet. I haven't even seen the remote, to be honest. We were trying to kill my sim self in the other tiny house, and I, a remote never showed up. Flamingo House should be the name, the Blue Flamingo. Try and put something on the light. What do you mean, James? Oh, down here, yeah, okay. What do you want, what do you think I should put down there? 
another plant. We need some life in here. Let's see what we can do. Oh, we can put some more succulents. That would be perfect. Um, I mean, I can do it this way. But it wasn't going to slot right on there. It's not acting like a table. It's actually at a weird height, too, because if you see that, I mean, that'll work for the succulents because succulent pots are tiny, but that's interesting. The Flamingarito. I know, they should be able to. I don't know why they're not doing that. Wacking says, it might not be actual tiny house gear, but the furniture in this pack, so beautiful. It's going to be hard waiting for a game pack and expansion pack to bundle. Might have to buy an ASAP. Yeah, I mean, it's. I definitely think with everything we got, like this whole house with the exception of a couple accessories I just put out and the kitchen and the bathroom uh, shower, are is the whole thing is this tiny living pack. The colors are so fun. I really like this. Oh, I just noticed something. The uh, banister is no longer purely white. There we go. Fixed. Oh. All right, got to be perfect before I put it in the gallery. Oh, you know what else I need is something on this table. I'll put another one of those lamps. Whoops. I want it to slot back there and let me change it. There we go. Do I have a book that will fit on that table? Ah, oh, perfect. All right, I think with that, we're ready to go to the gallery. Could use maybe a little more decoration on the walls, but I kind of like the wallpaper to stand on its own. Katie said, you changed your mind. It's now a bird bath. <laughs> Bye, Coley. Please put a tree outside. The only problem is, let me upload it. Let me save it. Hold on. I think I know what I want to do. Mm, never mind. I want to put it in the gallery. Okay, I'll put a tree out here. I wanted to put it in the gallery on in this world so that anybody can use it if they just have basically mostly base game. Um, they might have to change a few things, but I want to be able to them to do it. And then I want to move it to Island Living and see if I can find like a water lot for it. What tree would you like, Jane? I'm missing wallpaper on the outside of what door? Which door, James? I'm missing wallpaper outside on the door. Oh, I am. Thank you. Okay. Any base game one? Okay, let's see what we got. This isn't fully base game, unfortunately, because I didn't take the packs out before this, but... We'll 
do a few trees. Oh, here we go. Weep, Willow, weep. And then, since I'm going to do this in the gallery, let's go ahead and... You think the window is two? Oh, yep, yeah, I think you're right. Good catch. I'm gonna have you around every single time I build. Jacob, we don't talk age here, but I just I just turned 21. Thanks, James. <laughs> Whacking says such a beautiful home. I'm glad. I'm glad you like it. James says, that's cute. I love this so much. I'm not being disrespectful. I did just turn 21 for the 21st time. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> we just don't talk about age in my chat. That's part of the rules. Part of the rules up here in this chat. Just can't decide what rocks I want. But I think that'll be good. Who is Simarki? Simarki is my very best friend. She's also a streamer here. That's true, James. You do not ever ask a lady about her age. Because most ladies will lie to you. <laughs> In answer. Okay, I like my two little micro houses that I've built. They're two totally different houses, but I really like them. It's a nice little tiny house village here. Yes, okay, so I'm going to upload it to the gallery. Let's. Oh, we haven't come up with a name yet. Sunshine Micro, maybe? Let's do Sunshine Micro. And let's give it some lot traits. We'll make it work. We'll do Homey. Sunny Aspect. You like that name? Welcome back, Any. Sill likes Flamingo Dome. Hey, Jacob, be nice. We weren't, nobody was being mean to you. Everybody, oh, natural light, let's do that. Everybody here is kind and gentle. Yes, every tiny house should be homey. Some, though, are a little cluttered and icky. Some are very cold and modern. So, but I, I'm really liking my little, I should say, our little creation. Let's get it up in the gallery and then move it to Island Living and see if we can make it into a house boat. So we'll actually call this a one-bedroom, one-bathroom. And... 
Sunshine Micro is the house is the tiny house of your dreams. Move in ready and loaded with everything you need to live your best tiny house life. Built on stream at What other, any other hashtags I should do? Snipe, be nice in the Minecraft server. I'll have to find somewhere else for us to go. Tiny house, tiny living. Oh, and Sunshine Micro. Okay, I think that's good. So it is up there if you guys want to download it as soon as you get your hands on Tiny Living. Go for it. Now, oh, you know what I didn't do is I didn't see if it was playable. As long as you let him know you're, my, you're joking around, Snipe, I don't care. But if you frustrate people, then the joking becomes not very fun. That's the only problem. It's been so long since I've gone to the beach. All right, let's see. I think I like this lot. Let's see if we can make it work. It all seems okay, Katie. Snipe is being nice. All right, good. Sil, maybe you're a little sensitive. You guys need to work it out together. I'm sure you can. I have no doubt. You wonderful people. Oh my God, I didn't realize how many packs I used for that. Oops. Well, I think a lot of this stuff, though, that's other packs, if they're not there. Oh. Forgot to put that. I always forget to put that. Um, I don't think it'll make a big deal, though, if they place it. Okay, well, let's see if we can move this. The trees will have to go for sure. Should I have, well, I definitely need to turn it around too. So all the windows and stuff look out over the water. Um, it may not actually be like a boat, but I kind of like it. I lost my stairs, so I have to come up with a new stair solution. The mailbox is in the water. <laughs> you found a mine shaft. Oh my god. Sai, Sil, you probably are hella tired. It's very late where you are. All right, now I just got to figure out if I could do my stairs again. Wow. 
We'll change it to Solani Stairs. The stairs just don't want to make in the water. This would be a good time to have a ladder. Still doesn't want to make them. Hmm. If I don't have stairs to the second floor, I got I haven't even figured out the foundation yet. I gotta figure out the stair situation. I didn't even think about making stairs on here. I may not be able to make this a boat after all. Beach house, yes. Boat, no. Hmm. I can get all, I'm just one tile away. It's going to change it from a micro though if I... Oh! It let me do it! Yay! Now the question is, could I get it back to where I have the landing for the front door? There we go. Yay! Though I think I want my metal stairs back. Not quite a boathouse, but kind of a beach house. Jim says, I like when you click the pack and see you use one random terrain paint or not a lot trait, but the feature does help clean up things. Yeah. Wait, Baskin got banned from what? Matt, hi, how are you? This is The Sims, yes. Just finishing up our tiny house build. Celebrating the new Tiny Living expansion pack from The Sims. I was so graciously allowed to get my hands on early to share the early access with you guys. The pack does release on Tuesday for anybody who wants to play. I mean, I could live in this beach house. You better bet I could live in this beach house. This, this is my favorite pack of, Island Living is my favorite pack of all times. Oh, good. It regenerated the mailbox because I got rid of it. Is my flamingo still here? Oh. 
<laughs> you know what I could do? I didn't even think about this. I could make a bunch of little flamingos and they would look almost real. <laughs> I mean, it is a tropical pack after all. We'll make like a little parking lot back here. So they have somewhere to park their cars. What do you think? You guys like that? I don't know, James. I don't know what the hell's happening on the Minecraft server. You wanted to play it, but you never had time, Matt. You should definitely do it. You would love it. Put a flamingo painting. This, well, basically in this, what we're doing here is just building. We just got a new stuff pack um, called Tiny Living, and it's all about building tiny houses, of course. So that's what we did today is we just built a tiny house. That's what you're seeing here is our tiny house. We built it in another land and we decided to move it to the beach. So, because it's all sunshiny and happy. So that is what we built. Everything you need to live comfortably in your beach house. Actually, should we, I'm gonna save this because I haven't saved, but um, let me test this. Cause I haven't even tested this. So let's get out of here. You just watch Gray still plays kill people in this game. It's nice. Thank you. I'm glad you like it. Cindy likes it. Matt says I haven't played Minecraft in a long time. You should. That would be fun. Oh no no no! Just like you know those fake cars that we got. I always think about how people live. Oh, but that reminds me, you know what I could do? Well, let me, let me get my sim self moved in here. Oh, let me move my tiny living family in. Because we can put those bicycles. Your friend made you scared of Minecraft. Why, Matt? We found Null in our world on PS4. What's that mean? Yeah, or a boat. <gasps> oh, yeah. Hold on. Oh, look at my... Oh, my flamingos look so cute. Um, but you know what I was thinking? I mean, who doesn't have a bike at the beach, right? And wouldn't... Oh, I don't think I have any cheats on. Um, wouldn't this be like the perfect little bike... Parking area here? And then, hold on, let me... I think these are the ones I need for the... Okay. Let's see if we can find us a boat. Actually... Nope, sometimes I can search debug that way, but. Let's 
See, it was like these cars I was talking about. That was a happy day for me when they unlocked those. But I like the boat idea better. The president of the United is following me. Thank you so much. I hope it's the United World of the Sims. <laughs> you are the newest flamingo to join the Flamingo Lagoon, and we are thrilled to have you here. I'm looking for a boat. Oh, you know what I could do? Just come into my world. Hmm, I think I want one of these sailboats. Can I place it on? Oh, it might not work because I'm, it's too big. Normally I'll just place it on the roof of the house, but the lot's too big, darn it. They just have them on the outside stuff? What do you mean? The, the locked boats in debug? I just want to see if I can find them. The boats are in the outside stuff? Really? I'll have to go look. Well, that is like bigger than the whole house. I'm sorry, Syl, but yeah, the today was dedicated to this, so this is what I'm finishing up, and then I'm taking my break. Let me go look. Hang on. You were talking about these books? Or these boats? Yeah, I wanted the sailboat. Like, I wanted the, the real boat boats. No, probably not going to do any Bloxburg today, Farron. Tomorrow, probably. I love your name, President. All right, you guys, I think that's it. I think this looks pretty good. We've got our bikes, our little people. Now we just have to see if it's playable. That's the magic question. So let's see first if he can just get to this table and sit. I don't even know where they are. Oh. Come on, dude, come in your new house. Yeah, any day now. Why isn't he moving? He can't get in his house. Shit. Why can't he get in his house? Can he get here? We'll take baby steps. He can't even get to his house. Is it because of this?
Why can't he get in his house? That makes zero sense. The door is not blocked. There's nothing blocking that door. All right, can you go here? Can you go? Can you go here? Okay. Can you get in this bed? Okay. So that's good. We know at least he can do that. <clears throat> Something is a problem in here. She can't get in through the front door. Why? What? That is totally enough space for her to get in the door. The hell? Baron, I gotta eat today, man. I haven't eaten today at all, and it's three o'clock my time. I'm taking an hour off to eat. I don't know what is wrong with this door. Let me just put a different door in just for giggles. And see if she can get in there. No. Is it the light, maybe? What in the hell? It's a whole tile wide. Why can't she get in there? What did I do? Try to widen the bottom stairs. What do you mean? He can walk up the stairs and go up here. So I don't think that's the problem. You think it's this? The landing? I don't know how to stretch them out without adding like a second bit of stairs. Yeah, Moo is on. Try removing the bathroom door. Oh, cause maybe cause it's the swing. I don't know. Let's see if it was just the door. No. What is happening here? Why cannot she get in this house? I'm gonna take down that whole wall and just see if I can get her in. Hmm. It's definitely got to be something with, oh man, and I screwed myself because I got out of build. What in the heck is happening here? It's all going to heck in a handbasket. So I don't think it has, I think it has something to do with the stairs. So 
So let's see what we can figure out here. Ah, uh, now it's going to let me make them bigger. Just for giggles, let's see if we can get her to go. I have no flipping idea what the deal is here. It's got to be these stairs, though. Let me do this. We just make a stair to there and see if she can go in. So it definitely was something with the stairs. I know, I'm thinking I might have to do two stairs. They definitely could fit in the house, so that's not a problem, but there's something with Something with the stairs for sure. Question is, will I even be able to make the stairs? That looks stupid, though. It really looks dumb. Let's see if that works. All right, well, she can get up. See, if we had like circular stairs or ladders, none of this would be a problem. Just saying. But I think, I think it might have to do with the sand too. So if I want it to be a beach house, I'm just going to leave it like that. Let's go. Let's go to the main, the first house and see if it'll work. If my theory is that it's the beach. Oh, wait, I don't want to do that. Let's see. Give fingers crossed, you guys. Fingers crossed. Oh, for F's sake. I 
Why am I not? Doing furnished. Okay. Now, please be able to get in the house. That's all I ask. Oh, nope. Damn, why? I don't understand why that's a problem. The landings are meant for the doors. Why is that an issue? Does, does anybody know? If only I could drag this. I wonder if she could even get in if I do that. Nope. I knew that was wishful thinking. But I'm like, why can't I just make the landing bigger? Damn it, that's what I was afraid of. On the ceiling, it didn't cause a problem, or on the roof, it didn't cause a problem. But it'll take it away from being a micro house if I do this. By one tile. Oh, now it won't be able to go up there because of the flamingo. So that's the way around it right there. But I don't understand why it couldn't use its own landing. No, I don't have an extra tile. I've got to find one. What color did I end up doing this? All right, now let's go make sure this works and then I'll have to delete the one that's in the, oh, hold on. Okay. All right, that's the only way to get around it. I can't even use the I don't understand that. It makes zero sense to me. But now I just have to get rid of a tile somewhere. Where the hell can I get rid of a tile? <laughs> I don't have a tile to spare. Oh. Maybe because Sims don't see it as a floor, it's still stairs, so that's what... Oh, maybe. Maybe. What if I move the front door sideways? I 
I'm thinking I'm gonna have to take a tile from this bathroom. Which I probably can do. If I get really creative. Because the shower could probably be in front of the door now. It doesn't need walls, right? Oh, shoot. That's not going to work. Hello again, president. But if I do that, they can't get to this. Oh, wait, can they get no? It's ultra tiny, but they're not gonna be able to get to the sink. Let me look upstairs really quick. Nope, I can't lose a tile up here anywhere. Oh, I can lose a tile up here. I can, I can. This might work. Even though right now it's not saying yes. Why? I just lost a whole tile. Oh, because I got to move the stairs, I think. No, I didn't lose a tile. I'd have to lose that floor too. And he likes it. Junior, I am an eight. Yep, I'm a game changer. I've been one for a long time. You didn't know that, Junior? I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I like this house the way it is, but I don't want to make it a micro house. The only other thing I'm thinking, hold on, I think I just figured it out. Maybe. No. Yes, maybe. Got me back down to 33. It's like a puzzle.
Okay, I'm back at 32. Now if I can, I figure, I think I just figured it out. I just got it. It's not gonna look as nice. I'm just wondering if I can't somehow make this landing connect with that landing. <laughs> just like too many flipping stairs. All right, I'll tell you what, here's the new challenge. <laughs> I'm gonna leave this like this and call it a day. It's in the gallery. Y'all can get your hands on it on Tuesday when you get the tiny living pack. Whoever fixes it, send me a message and I will scream it from the shout, scream it from the rooftops. James, I have a feeling you'll figure it out really quick. So go on Minecraft, I'll see you on Minecraft in a little while. I'm leaving my house at 64 by 64 for the time being. And I think I'm gonna wrap up the stream right now because um, I'm starving and it's three o'clock. I'm hot, I'm tired. <laughs> and this whole stair thing really pisses me off. So I'm gonna call it a day. I love my tiny house. I'm very pleased with how it turned out. Thank you all for your help. Thank you all for hanging out with me and having fun with me. It means the world to me. And I want to thank again, Katie, for gifting all those subs today. That was such a treat. And uh, I definitely, Junior, recommend this pack. Um, if you want to see my speed build of the house next door, which is this little guy over here, it is on my YouTube channel. If my mermaid is still streaming, I think we're going to raid, we're going to raid her. So let's find out if Mama Mermaid is still streaming. Oh, nope, she stopped. Um, so maybe we will go re raid Melixa. Let's see. Sorry, I'm having trouble hearing you. Mm, Siri, hush. Hush, Siri. I don't know if you guys can hear her, but she's talking. Siri, quiet. Thank you.